Hi, Dr. Drainage here to teach you how to calculate and store stormwater runoff. One of the most important elements of designing a proper drainage system is determining how much stormwater is falling on your property and what to do with this volume of water. This video was developed to show you how to do that. This will also provide you with the tools needed to design a custom drainage system for your property. Let's get started. Before we begin, there are a few things to note. Please pause, rewind, and rewatch as many times as needed. Drainage codes vary across the country. Please check the drainage requirements in your area with your local municipality. They may use different methods or values and may require that your calculations be stamped by a licensed civil engineer in your state. Here is a list of a few things that you will need. Paper, a pen or pencil, a tape measure, and finally, a calculator. Let's begin. There are three steps to follow when calculating drainage. First, we need to calculate the storm runoff, or flow. Runoff is given the symbol Q. Second, we convert the storm runoff into a volume of water. And finally, we determine how we are going to store the runoff volume. Step 1. Calculate storm runoff. I am going to use the rational method. There are several methods that can be used to calculate drainage. The rational method is probably the easiest and most widely used method. The rational method's equation is Q equals C times I times A divided by 96.23, where Q is a storm water runoff in gallons per minute, C is the runoff coefficient, I is the rainfall intensity in inches per hour, and A is the drainage area in square feet. 96.23 is a conversion factor when you want the flow rate in gallons per minute and your drainage area is in square feet. Each of these will be explained in depth shortly. C is the runoff coefficient. This is essentially the percentage of water that runs off of a given surface. For example, if rain is falling at 2 inches per hour and only 1 inch per hour is running off of the surface, the C value for that surface is 1 divided by 2 or 0.5. Here is a table that shows the C value for various surfaces. This table is included in the companion calculation guide to this video. A link to this guide will be available at the end of the video and also on the NDS Homeowner Drainage website under the Resources tab. I is the rainfall intensity in inches per hour. I can be calculated in several ways. But in this video, I will use the approximate rainfall values from this 100-year rainfall map. The 100-year rainfall map shows the approximate amount of rain that will fall in the 100-year storm event. A is the surface area where the runoff water is coming from in square feet. The square footage for one half of the roof of the house shown here is 40 feet by 20 feet, which equals 800 square feet. Now let's put it all together. Again, the rational method equation says that our storm runoff is equal to the runoff coefficient C times the rainfall intensity I times the runoff area A, all divided by 96.23. The runoff is coming from the roof, so the C value in our equation is 1.0. Let's pretend this house is in Atlanta, Georgia. The I value is 3.5 inches per hour, and the A value is 800 square feet. Multiplying this out, we can expect to get 29.10 gallons per minute of water from this portion of the roof in the 100-year storm event. Let's do another example. This time, the surface is sand, so the C value is 0.5. The house is in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the runoff area is 1,000 square feet. The expected runoff here is 7.79 gallons per minute. What if the water is coming from two different surfaces but draining to the same area? You treat them individually, then combine the results. In this example, water is coming from both the roof and the grass, with areas of 800 and 1,000 square feet respectively. We will assume 2 inches of rainfall per hour. The runoff from the roof will be 16.63 gallons per minute and the runoff from the grass will be 7.27 gallons per minute. 
The runoff from the roof was 16.63 gallons per minute, and the runoff from the grass was 7.27 gallons per minute. Adding these together, we get 23.90 gallons per minute draining from these areas. To download the companion guide to this video, which includes all charts and resources, click here. If you're interested in learning more about residential stormwater drainage or other NDS drainage products, visit our NDS homeowner drainage website here. Be sure to check out our other videos that are part of our NDS drainage course, How to Build a Drainage System. If you have any questions or suggestions for another video you would like to see, email me at drdrainage at ndspro.com. I'm Dr. Drainage. Talk to you later.